Well, hello, Chicago Bears fans. Yep, I am back with another video. But this time, I'm going to break down the very first game of yesterday's Bears-Packers, the biggest rivalry in this history. Okay? But first, I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some of the drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. If you want to check out the box score, probably you know already, the information will be down below. Probably a lot of you don't give a crap, because it's a very, very disappointed loss. Okay, I'm going to break this down, and then let me know your opinion on this Disaster of a game. Okay, the final score was 38 Packers and the Bears 20. Now, before I go any further, the media once again overhyped the Bears. I did not overhype the Bears at all this offseason because I know what's going to happen and I was right. I was totally right. I thought it would be a lot closer than the final score. I mean, they look okay in the first half, but two field goals, if you just watched it, oh, wow, the Bears got a touchdown and they missed the extra point. Nope. Two damn field goals, you know, and other stuff. You know, I don't remember a lot of details because it was horrible. Once again, Justin Fields will be Justin Fields. I mean, he could he could be a good quarterback. If they let him sling it, is it his fault or is it the offense coordinator? Bears will always will be the Bears. Yes, I know it's week one. I'm not panicking. Bears are not the only team we're struggling in week one. Example, the New York Giants. They play bad. The Colts play bad. The Steelers play bad. Even the Chiefs. Play, they play good, but they lost. Okay, don't give up in your team if they lost in week one. I'm not gonna give up now. Is this gonna tell if the Packers are gonna be Super Bowl contenders? No, it's very v super early. Okay, I hate when the media says, you know, this all season, wow, Bears made some big changes, and look what happened. Same old, same old. Hopefully, one day we could be Green Bay. It's not going to happen, especially we're going to get demolished. It looked like a Jordan Love, like MVP numbers. And look like those numbers, if you play Madden, those kind of numbers, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. It's just a train wreck, you know? So, now the Bears' next opponent will be against the Buccaneers in Tampa. Fun fact, Bears and Buccaneers used to be in the um, same division years ago. Last time it was 0-2. Hopefully the Bears would destroy them. But probably it's not going to happen. Baker had a good game against the Vikings. But, you know, it's only week one. You can't really judge it, you know. So hopefully they fix their game plan. If not, it's going to be the same old, same old. Now, the Bears need to score first. Okay? Don't let them... They have a catch-up game, you know. They try to catch up the Green Bay, and by the time they catch up with Green Bay, it was totally out of it. I know they scored 20 points, but that was like the end of, almost the end of the game, you know. So, I don't know. They, oh, God. It's very bad to be a Bears fan. So, you know, it don't matter who's the head coach. It don't matter who's the defense coach, offense you know, any of those guys, because it's the same old, same old. They need to um, sell this team, the Kaskis, but it's not going to happen, okay? They give um, the tight end a big, fat contract, and he didn't do nothing. They um, trade for DJ Moore, nothing. They got Clay, play, play, you know, the guy they traded for last year, nothing. I know, I know it's... Week one, the first game of the regular season. 
But you guys make some big moves this offseason and very disappointed, you know. I watched the whole entire game, you know. Most of the time I just listen to it. I was on my laptop and I turn around, no bigger improvement, no comeback, nothing. I pick six with a dagger and Packers will always have the Bears number, always. I thought when Aaron Rodgers left, things could be different, but nope, it's the same. It don't matter who they sign as a free agent. It don't matter if they made that blockbuster trade. It always will be the same. I'm sorry for being a Debbie Downer, but I'd like to see the Bears compete in this game. Not for the division, not for a playoff spot to beat the Cheeseheads, you know? Cheeseheads have more history. Look at Aaron Rodgers. I mean, Bar Star, very successful quarterback. Brett Farr, very successful and Rogers, very successful. Now you have Jordan Love. Will he be the next future Hall of Famer? I know it's only a long way until we know if he's legit or not legit. One game does not make a difference for anyone out there. For all the QB. Even the, the rookie quarterbacks struggled. So things will change eventually. So don't give up, Bears fans. Okay? I know it's very hard for me to discuss that. You know? So, if you're out here, Packer fans, congratulations, you know. So, I'm not going to rip into you, you know. And then, Aaron Jones, he torched the Bears' defense, torched him. He got injured, but he bounced back, you know. I don't know if he came back in the game. It didn't matter. 51-yard TD catch or run. It was a very pathetic game. I'm not even going to discuss about the stats anymore. So, if you want to check it out, that's fine. If not, then you could just listen to my opinion. So, I don't know what the Bears are going to do. But I just hate when other Bears fans say, Bears kind of beat the crap out of the, of the Packers. And guess what? It got reversed. So, maybe Bears fans, you should just be quiet and see how this game plays out. Now, are you going to say the same thing against the Buccaneers? Bears going to demolish the, 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 the Bucks. Don't say that until the game's over. You know, I don't say anything on social media. I went to this game's over, then I could say my piece. It makes sense. So, what's your thoughts on this game? And are you giving up that quickly? I'm not going to give up. There's no point to it. Now, if this is like week 8 or a week, I don't know when to really give up. Don't ever give up in your team. Don't ever. I don't, I still don't think Justin Fields is the answer. Maybe I'm right or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. They can never get this issue resolved. I like to see the Bears dominate this division, but it's not going to happen. Probably the only way you could dominate this division if you play any Madden video games or anything with the Bears related. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Always go Bears. And next time, you'll see me when I do my NFL picks, and I'll give you my recap. It's been a bad week for me for my NFL picks for week one. You'll find out. Take care and always go Bears. Follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. If you want to be brother Rajwa, that's fine. DNA. Peace out. Take care.